I developed very many like close relationships through working there, which was amazing. Um, when you say that you're going to work somewhere and they say that they're going to be family orientated, I don't think you fully get it until you go there. Yeah, I actually was a teller supervisor when she started and I trained her in. So kind of got to get to know her a little bit. Um, we worked at different locations. But um, you still get to know your coworkers, and she's one that you don't forget about. I'll say right now, like the people at State Bank were my sanity for a while. State Bank was absolutely phenomenal. Whether it was my coworkers, my boss, HR, everyone got involved when they heard that we were going to have some issues with the pregnancy. It's prune belly syndrome. I don't completely understand all of it. I know that there are no like abdominal muscles and they did the surgery that she was talking about was where they went in and grabbed the side muscles and pulled them across to help hold his body up and internal organs back. They let me take care of what I need to take care of and they knew this was so important to me. Um, at 16 weeks the bladder actually ruptured and so the doctor gave him like 5% chance over the weekend to survive. So he had done the unthinkable at 16 weeks. He recovered from that and they were there to to be supportive through that too. So I just really feel like the milestones that <laughs> bless you that I was that we were working through, they were there for all that. And to think that after you leave somewhere, to have them, it's just beyond me. To have them think of you after you're gone. It was roughly around like April then of this last year that Camden had his third surgery. And so after that, knowing this would be the toughest one, my husband and I decided that it was time for me to stay home. I called Carrie Ellen and just kind of got talking with her and just said, you know, me and Amanda want to go out for lunch with you. And um, she was all excited about that because, you know, a stay-at-home mom, sometimes she wanted to get out of the house. And everybody else who was involved in the project went in our conference room. And I just kind of showed her around. We walked in, very unsuspecting, you know, we got pizza, soft drinks, everything there. And, and little did I know when we got there that there were more people waiting. And I just figured, Oh, there's more people that were available. So I just didn't think twice of it until I saw the camera. And then it, it hit. <laughs> we all wanted to pay it forward to make it a little easier since you had to quit your job. So there's $4,500 to help with everything that you have going on. You get goose. I get goosebumps now even just thinking about it. I mean, every time you do this, it's just, you get that feeling. But when you know the person you're giving it to, and, and like I said, I have two children of my own, and I think, you know, you just you thank the Lord every day that you, your child is healthy. Um, we're hoping for Camden to be celebrating his second birthday here in March, and that'll be a huge day. You know, this is a really big gift that I'm gonna for sure be sharing with him as he gets older to understand that, you know, one day when he's able to, too, to pass that on. I'm proud of the fact that I had the opportunity to have worked at such a wonderful bank. I, I'm very proud of people that I had the chance to work with. Um, I'm proud of my family. I very much just am very appreciative. I would just say, like, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for thinking of our family. This is goes beyond the money. Just to be thought of in this way has just made us feel just so blessed to be thought of.